Good morning Taurus, welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. The only message I have for you before we start is please take the bits that resonate and leave the rest. Okay? Don't try and make it fit. This will just lead you to wrong conclusions. So without further ado, what's going on for my Taurian friends? Energies, spirits, guides, angels, universe. What's going on for the sign of Taurus, please? What does the sign of Taurus need to know? The hangman. Eight of Wands. High Priestess. Queen of Wands. Page of Cups. Sun card, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Two of Wands. Okay, straight off the bat, I'm kind of getting that there was a part in other ways in the past. Okay, for whatever happened, you feel you need to heal from something. Okay, you're not going to be rushed. Your situation is, I'm kind of getting quite comfortable at the moment, but, you know, I'm getting incoming communication here, and you feel that there's too much pressure at the moment, okay? It's not to say you're in a bad way or anything like that, but what I'm getting is you're trying to slow things down here because you do feel pressurised. Okay, it's gone from very, very quiet to everything all happening at once. Now, with this high priestess here around you, I'm kind of getting there's a, a fear of commitment or serious doubts, okay, in this new path opening up via communication. Somebody here does want to connect to you strongly. All right. They have been very cautious on their approach. I'm getting for a lot of you, this is re a reconnection with somebody, not necessarily an ex, but there's a reconnection energetically here with somebody that there's been some difficult times with. Now, you are in the midst of making some life changing alterations to your life and perhaps the way you dress the way you do your hair you know buying a new wardrobe finding a new job there's a lot of elements in your life that you feel have become stagnated all right now there is a person here you're dealing with very friendly very loyal and they kind of want to push things forward you could be dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius but there's a there's a lot of fast moving energy here. Now there could be a child involved, but you're considering a lot of things. Okay. Now for a lot of you, there this is somebody brand new. Okay. And this is something you don't want to rush into yourself. You're being very hesitant about it. All right. Because of disruption in your past from a particular relationship, which, by the way, is finding its way on an equilibrium now. With this Sun card here, I'm getting that a lot of you can expect a lot of your relationships to find a much more even smoother keel. You've been very, very happy in your place, but now you want to change. Some of you are probably thinking about sunnier climbs, relocation. Okay, so getting very, very busy with that. But what I'm also getting is there is somebody here, a reconnection with somebody who does make you very, very happy. And there's revelations here. Okay. They want to stabilise things with you. They do miss you. Okay. You've had the confidence to just sit and wait, which is good, 
I'm kind of getting that a lot of you have left things well alone. You know, you've, you've reacted to this person very, very differently to what you've reacted to them before, and now they want to come back. But the thing is, there's a lot of caution around here, around this connection, on the longevity of it, the repetitive of the past, okay? You're not going to fall into that trap. Not again. It's not your style. As I say, a lot of you are feeling very, very comfortable. So there's a change of mind here. If somebody realises what the connection means to them and they want to put it back together. You, however, are not willing to give up your situation totally and just commit on a whim. You are, if you want to commit to this or will commit to this, you'll probably slow things down and give yourself time for the transitional state. For the moment, I'm kind of getting your focus, your attention has been shifted here. Somebody is coming in here with a different attitude. But ultimately, the decision is yours on how to go forward. They've already been planning on how to take the relationship forward. Okay. And that's not to mean they're assuming stuff with you. They... They've been finding and working out solutions. They're still very, very cautious. Now, whether you're married or they're married, or whatever the situation is between you, there is this energy of coming together. See what this hangman is here. Yeah, tower moment. Somebody has had a wake-up call. They've realised it puts you in the position of being able to, well, not dictate but take this forward how you want it to take it. You certainly want to make sure it's done right this time. You don't want somebody just full of empty promises. You want somebody that is reliable and stable. Okay, and it's kind of like, okay, prove it. I'm kind of getting at the moment you're giving this person the benefit of the doubt. But you're certainly doing a lot of reevaluating of your feelings and your relationships. This is actually a, this connection is actually asked, acting as a catalyst. Okay, but whatever you decide, there's going to be a breakdown of your particular situation. On getting here, that whatever route you take, whether to go with this forward with this, with this person or not, I'm kind of getting there's there's a loss of some kind here. Okay, your situation is changing irrevocably. Partly due to your own doing and partly doing to forces outside of your control. There has been a lot of regrets. Yeah, some, there's somebody here been avoiding their feelings for a very long time. I'm kind of getting at the moment you are resisting their approaches. You don't know whether to commit to this person or not. I still get the, the intuition here that something is being rushed and there's this trying to slow it down. It's like you're on two different planes, you know. It's... To be able to sustain this, sustain this connection, I'm kind of getting there has to be a ground in between you two. There has to be some compromises. There is a big desire of yours you've been trying to achieve though, but now it's arrived, you've been wishing and now that wish is coming true, it involves, you know, whatever, it, invo it involves the loss of a job here or your present situation to go forward with this. I'm kind of getting this perhaps for you second thoughts. This is another reason why you're slowing it down. Wishing for something is one thing, but when it actually materialises, 
it kind of becomes a bit scary. Yeah. Mm. Your intuition is very strong now. Even if there's still silence between you and this person, I'm kind of getting that your intuition is telling you that they will come back. And I'm getting that you will hear from them here. There's a lot of apprehension. I'm kind of getting that you're keeping things to yourself to see how it goes. Yeah, page of swords on, on top of the page of cups. I'm getting here, there's children involved for some of you. But I'm getting here that they don't want to give up. They have got something to say to you, which could kind of surprise you. I'm kind of getting that they've been holding back for a long, long while as well. Yeah, it's... I'm kind of getting that you two can, if you wish, figure out the differences between you. Okay, but again, there has to be some compromises. There is a marriage involved here or a very, very long term connection. In your work on getting here, it's signing a contract for a long term connection. But you're wondering whether you want to commit yourself for that length of time. All right, you do have choices. There has been a lot of fantasies going on here. You've been thinking about each other. There's been a lot of fantasizing. But now it's it's become a reality. It's putting those fantasies and dreams and ambitions into reality. Mm. In your work, there could be a chance to form a partnership with somebody. There's a lot of barriers between you and this person. But I'm kind of getting this person is very determined. You know, despite the difficulties in your situation. Differences of cultures, differences of opinions. Distance here for some of you. You do feel like you've been going around in circles with this person for a very long time. I'm kind of getting here. There is one final crack at it, so to speak. Hmm. There's a third party to consider and I'm kind of getting, for a lot of you, that's a child. Your decision will be based on, I'm kind of getting, on what's real and what's fictitious, you know. It's it's grounding yourself. It's it's having realistic expectations. In the past, there was a lot of unrealistic expectations. That's why I'm getting it broke down in the first place. But there's more realistic expectations. If you want to sustain this, it's seeing the truth about the situation and not looking through rose-tinted glasses. Okay. It's up to you. Whatever you do. I'm kind of getting that there's going to be a lot of happiness whichever route you take, but there'll be two very, very different journeys. There's a lot of caution here with this. A lot of you are dealing with an ex, but it's it's repetitive cycles. But I'm getting here a change of red, residence for a lot of you. They certainly want to get serious. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.